This part is actually sort of divided into two sections. And you can see he's stuck. And even though he's a dinosaur, he cannot go forward for whatever reason. You would think that running at full speed, he could just knock the obstacle in place ahead, but... You know, now that I think about it, he really could knock it over in the uh, third level. So I guess it makes sense to some extent. I don't know, it just bothers me that they can't move something so small. I mean, look, he's bigger than thing. And instead of walking, he's running at it. I don't know. Just some observations. Also, you, something I found funny is that the blocks in the first level, second level said B on it. And you can actually see they say Y. I thought it was pretty clever on their part. Okay. I am making so many mistakes right now, it's not even funny. Thankfully, this level has a lot of stars in it. Okay, so let's jump down. Hopefully, don't get hit. Alright, now things start to get a little tricky. Get those two... Because now you have to knock this guy out. You have to knock out your friends. Uh, Potato Head just goes down, no problem. You knock him out, he just he's done. You don't have to worry about him anymore. Why can't I make that jump? Whatever. I tried. So now, let's see, can I get anything here? Yes. So now he's moving forward. You have ro a little robot after you. And it's raining coins from Piggy Bank. That was it. I think that was what they called him, the Piggy Bank. So you have to take him out. Once you neutralize him, he won't drop coins. And the balloons, uh, instead of releasing flies, release marbles if you haven't figured that out. So that's another aspect you have to look out for. Hit you again. Alright. So why can't I reach those? There we go. I probably missed something because I couldn't uh, jump up past the snake, but I'll just have to deal with that. Okay, so now this would normally be the end, but he's being pushed back. So you gotta knock him out and make a run for it. That's really the only time I see... I could see why he can't move. Wow, I missed a lot. Alright. So then, there's another revolt. There he is with Rex. Again, this is something that wasn't in the movie, but it's in this game. So now you have to basically plow through everybody in what is one of my favorite levels. And I missed those right off the bat. I really gotta reconfigure this next time I do a Genesis game, because I keep screwing up the jumps and attacks. So you have to watch out for various toys. You have to watch out for RC Car, who likes to go ahead of you, behind you. You have to watch out for the airplanes from ahead. You have trains at the bottom. This was really hard when I was a kid, and after a while you start to memorize the pattern. You also have to worry about that. I have no idea how I made that. I just really like this level. It's really fun. It's fast-paced. It's a bit challenging, too, once when you try it the first time. And watch. I'm going to get everything except those two stars that I missed in the beginning. Yep. Freaking controller. Oh well. Wait, what? I missed another one. Oh. You might have also heard that little squeak. At 300, you get a continue, which is basically an extra life for me because I decided to go on Yahoo. Alright, so now we have another boss fight. I have the talk of revenge. This is sort of... 
This is another uh, boss fight that took us a while. I'm... I think it was actually my brother who figured it out. He figured out most of the boss fights, but you have to basically dodge his charge, and you have to hit him with the tire to damage him. After that, he'll start spinning around, dodge those, get some stars. This was uh, one of the more frustrating levels to get stars in because of reasons you'll see later. I timed that perfectly because normally that would have bounced off of him. When he has his wings open, you cannot hit him with the tire. So we'll just bounce this over. You also have to have a nice bit of leverage. You can't just do that. You have to launch it upwards. And would... <sighs> I really should have like a counter going. Oh wow, I got him with the wings open. I guess it's just when he's flying, you can't get him. Oh well. Really don't want to test that theory. You guys get the general gist then. Boom! So then, you can see I, tr I tried to get that star, but I just missed it. So it's really hard to get the, the whole thing anyway. It's just ridiculous. Okay. So now, I drive off. You have to go into Pizza Planet. And this is another fun level. Let's see. So you have to move forward with this, avoid the food. This is a little tricky, is that if you wait too long, I'm gonna wait until I get some more life. Not so now. If you wait too long, Buzz will bump in front of you, and that'll damage you. The only way you can uh, really avoid him is just to keep moving forward, or you can stop. You can go down, which forces both of you to stop. A feature in this level that you really need to have down. So in a moment, you're going to see a paper airplane fly by. In a moment, you're going to see a paper airplane fly by. There we go. And then every time you see those, you have to duck down or else you're going to get hit by the kids that run by. So now, you have to maneuver through all this, but you also have to avoid the kids. And they seem to come in, like, random increments. Actually, it kind of seems timed. Maybe, like, every four seconds. At this point, I was really getting excited about this game because I, I really, as I said, I played this game a lot as a kid, and it was mainly because this was the first video game that I ever beat, and it was one of those things I wanted to keep trying because I really wanted to beat it. I wanted to see the end of it, and I don't remember how long it took me, but it was just so much... I just really wanted to beat it. I really just wanted to see how it ended, I guess. That's why I know this thing like the back of my hand. Oh wow, we got another one. It's actually perfect timing because I believe I only have two life points. So, that works out. So, we'll just shoot these. I'm not talking, it's because I'm trying to focus on this. Alright. This level... I cannot even explain it. You're inside the claw machine, but the inside of a claw machine should not be this big, even if you are a toy. But still... It is what it is. You have a bunch of things going down. You know, I realize that I'm criticizing the game a lot for its a uh, unrealistic anatomy of different machine or different levels. I don't know, this is just stuff that bothers me now as an adult. Also, this is one of those levels that you cannot get all 50 coins. There's a glitch in the game which hides the 50th coin. Or the star. I'm thinking coins due to Mario. Now, as you can see, the light blue do different things. They either go in, but 
you'll see later that they also go down if I could make this jump. Also, I feel like I should have an extra life from Pizza Planet. What the hell, game? I thought I was at five already, and I sh thought I'd be at six. Now, whatever. Still the man with the plan. Seriously, though, if those were exploding inside a claw machine, you'd think it would damage it. Oh, I guess the light blue one's only gun. Now, what you need to do to get the... I believe you have it in the uh, Super Nintendo version where the last star is up there, but there is no way to find it. No way to find it that I am aware of, at least. So... Yeah, you have to jump on those... You have to jump quickly, or you will not make your jump. So you kind of have to be quick. Alright. Yeah, but there's no way to get there, to my knowledge, so... Yeah. At least I'll get a life point for that little mistake some more stars towards my second continue. Alright. Let's get that. You have to be very careful in this level. I know it's I know I'm making it look easy, but it's actually kinda hard. Like, it's really difficult. I feel like I'm getting lucky with some of these, uh, um, dodges. And not so lucky there. So, yeah, you can see I got all the visible stars that I could find, but I only get 49. So now, we have a different aspect. We only have one of this, one level like this. I like how it's like inside the claw machine and then really inside the claw machine. So you have to move really quick on this one and find eight aliens throughout this machine. As I said in the beginning of this Let's Play, they do a lot of different uh, types of gameplay. You've seen the uh, overhead scrolling with the RC car. You've seen time-based missions. You've seen uh, just get to the end. And that's, I guess that's one of the reasons I really like this game, was because of the wide variety of different uh, levels that they had. It wasn't just get start to finish each level. The only hope is that I can remember where all these suckers were. Let's see, I believe there's one in one of these corners. There we are. And again, this is one of those levels I really don't know how to get all the stars. Because you have to be, like, lightning fast. You have to be, like, continuously moving in order to get it. So, let's see, there's two in here. I hated this level as a kid, you can imagine. It was really hard the first few times trying to navigate through this. Even though now I'm making it look easy, a lot of this is done by, I guess, memory. Like, it just seems to be instinctual to go to all these places. I don't know. I'm guessing it's just a deep memory. Except I do not know where this last one is. I don't know which one I missed. So, let's see. Not that. Not that. Let's do some backtracking. What? There we are. If I'm not mistaken. We have another claw right over here. Well, I guess I am mistaken. Man, I really... There we are! I was about to say, I really might be in trouble. Alright, so now... The claw moves, it decides who will stay. And now we see Sid. 